Okay, it's now started. So for the recording session, these are all the commands that we will be going to discuss today. Uh, that we'll be discussing today, create, insert, select, select distinct, where and or not, auto buy, delete, update, minimum, maximum, null, select a top, average, sum, count, like, and wildcards, few of them are available, and uh, the operator called in between and the aliases. All of these, all of these things we'll be discussing today. So at first, we'll start with the create. Uh, create create is the command which we use to create any of the database object. So this is the basic syntax of the uh, syntax of the uh, creating a table. So create table and we give our table name and uh, followed by parentheses with the column names and columns and its particular data types. So this create table and I'm gonna name my table as employee. Uh, this I'll be using today for all uh, all our uh, operations. So this employee has ID first. So as I discussed, uh, ID could be of uh, mostly it will be a, a numeric data. So for that, what what is the thing or uh, what is the data type that we should be using? Can anyone just drop a message? No issues, we'll be using int, int data type for the employee ID. So for readability sake, I'll just mention EMP underscore ID so that we just we can find it very in a very easy way. Employee ID. And the next one is employee name. And could be salary. This is also for this for this i actually told like one particular data type that we should be using uh, whenever the money comes into picture so for the employee id we should give a data type where care of let's say 50 characters for our best sake of uh, long names salary uh, i've told one particular data type called money so this will be using on all for money transaction related stuff. And we have his address that is also where care of some 200 because addresses could be uh, longer enough. And any other columns, any other suggestions, please? Date. And uh, his date of joining doj or date of birth so that is date time or just the date uh, employee id name salary address and it's has department which is also of where care of 100 so department can be like uh, 20, that's more than enough. In the address column, uh, instead of maintaining the address, we go with specific uh, in detail stuff. Let's say instead of address, uh, let's say city, which is about uh, 50 characters maybe. And we go with uh, another called uh, state. Before that, we need district.
this state and what else we got country which also takes where care of some again uh, 25 Let us go with all of these uh, uh, basic things uh, for an employee. So let's say we have an employee ID, employee name, salary, money, salary and city, district, state, country, date of birth and department. So let us get just execute. So it says command completed successfully and completion time, whatever the time it takes. So yesterday I have mentioned one more thing to check whether this table is already there or it's uh, created properly or not. So for that, we will be using select command. See, we got the all, all of our details in here, whatever the columns that we created. So one more other way is, let's go to databases on our particular database back session and uh, tables. So here we can find what are all the tables that we created. So here my table is there, tvo dot, dbo dot employee. This is the particular table that I've created just now. Uh, are you guys clear till now? Quick confirmations, please. Thank you. So we have created database now and we should be inserting some data into it. So that's where insert command comes into picture. This is the one that we use to insert the data into a particular uh, uh, what called tables. So the, the syntax that we use is insert into uh, can you guys mute yourself if you're on mute? thank you so we have the uh, basic syntax for insert so insert into table name and uh, respective columns. And the values keyword and values. So this is how we write a basic insert command. So I'll insert some values, insert into table name. What do we have? It's employee, insert into employee and columns that we should be inserting. So we have ID first, that is actually employee ID, EMP underscore ID. And we have EMP underscore name. And we have salary and we have city and we have district. And we have state, country, world we have date of birth and department. So these are the columns that I want to insert my values in. So values, this is the keyword to specify the values. So let's make it into the next line. So just say, I have a employee ID with uh, ID one and uh, employee name. Uh, let's go with our participants only. So first one's Anil Chandra. 
to let's say anil and his employee name is set and what is next salary let's say some five thousand dollars a month and we have city let's say the city is bangalore and districts are also bangalore and state Karnataka and we have country India date of birth it's of date format so we have date format as yyyy slash mm slash dd so let's say some 2001 I found eight and the department is let's say a regular staff so i want to insert the data into that particular table so i'm just going to select and uh, press on execute so this says one row affected on completion time this one so here yeah, let me check if my data is inserted into that table or not see here we have per pro data employee id whatever the thing i have entered are we good on this i'll take it as is and i'll uh, go with the new ones we'll insert few more employees into this particular table so we can just copy all the stuff and uh, we need to change the employee id and uh, uh, let's say what's uh, what are other names we have sharon and jackie shore and, and let's say his salary is four thousand dollars and he stays in uh, Anantapur and uh, this district itself also Anantapur and the state is AP and rest is all same and but he's born in like uh, let's say he's a 90s kid and he is into something, some development uh, department called Dev. Uh, don't bother of, uh, about the departments, it's just something for the namesake. And let's execute this one as well. So it says one row factored. So we should be having all the columns, all the data in this. So here we have it. So this way, uh, insert works. We can just create table and insert in such a way as this and one more thing we have what if if we want to insert only particular columns like say i don't have a dob a date of birth column that is like uh, mentioned in any of my applications so that i cannot copy, capture so what we do in this particular format let's take another example for third user Sure. Let's make it six thousand, and the city is in Dupur, and district is Anantapur. Uh, state is AP, country is India. He doesn't have any date of birth, or like uh, just let's say for an example, he don't, he did not uh, like to enter his date of birth in the country in the fields. So let's remove that, and his department be Dev. So here, if we want to insert all only these mentioned details, how do we insert without a particular column being uh, set into it? So that's where we use this also. So we just remove this date of birth field in, in this particular column section. Okay, get that. And execute. 
see here one row affected again and let's get the details so this is what the details looks like so i just i did not just mention any data or uh, the column for his reference so that's where this comes into picture and we have one more thing what if uh, we have our data shuffled in so let's say uh, am i audible guys Yeah, just a second, I'll sh I'm sharing the screen again. Hmm. So you, get, you guys can see now. Yes, Jay Kishu, can you? Yes, thank you. So what if, uh, I have what if it is like uh, I have my department uh, uh, column that is mentioned like uh, in the first section itself. So here, what if if I want to reorder the way of insertion into my tables? So. Uh, that's where uh, that's why we define these particular columns in such a way that the values also should uh, should follow the same order so see i have moved department to the end and i should be moving this particular department to beginning so we'll uh, let's say another participant's name I see someone MP. I don't know who's that. Uh, let's make it MP. He's into. He's also into uh, development department, and his salary could be like fourteen ninety. He's also from like uh, uh, let's say small town called Kelly. And district of Anandapur, uh, same way. And he's also some 97 Kate. His date of birth is 31st Jan. Let's execute this. So it says one row affected. And let's see what we have. To see the details that are in the table, we use select star form and table name. Here we get this see employee name that i've given here and 4090 salary development department i've given it in the beginning mentioning the column here but i got it in the end that's how it works and what if like uh, we can also insert the data without mentioning the columns that is like uh, so let's move it to end and uh, we just say insert into employee and uh, the table uh, the data what is called uh, the id value now let's change it to three and we have uh, some 5090 salary town as a uh, pm care that's also some same district and uh, it's ka and maybe like 1987 let's say name as uh, something like raj he's into some other department called uh, test so to enter this data or like uh, without mentioning the column names this is how we do we just mentioned insert into employee and values directly. 
and be noted that whenever we are using values directly we will be inserting these particular columns in order so whatever order that you mentioned here same order that will be going into this particular table so let's show and let's execute this it says one row affected and let's see what we have it here this is what we have these are the prop uh, some of the types to uh, like insert the data into a particular things i mean the table see you could you could notice this null value here what it actually is so null is like uh, the column i mean uh, the data field without any value that that is called null value so here we completed create and uh, insert and select as well select is to select the data within from the table and we have select distinct what it is actually um see here in my table data i have like uh, five employees details and they are of they are from different states and different uh, uh, cities and uh, districts as well as uh, they have different different salaries so uh, i want to get what are all the cities my employees are from or uh, let's say what are all the districts that my employees are from so for that i'll be using select distinct 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 the keyword itself says unique values from the columns select distinct distinct and we have district from employee see here what do we get here only three district names anantapur bangalore and tmk tumko so here we have total of five rows but here we got only three rows that are of unique districts from this table so i am mentioning the district column and get the distinct values from this column and display it that's what it says and we can say like uh, distinct id distinct country whatever it is you name it and you can we can do it and let's say distinct departments how many departments that of my employees have belong to for that we can do this see we have uh, three specific departments called dev staff and test so this is where the distinct comes into picture wherever you want to find a particular like columns distinct data that we use it here so this is about the distinct keyword and let's say uh, we now have a provision to get all the details hey mandar we now have all the details to get the like uh, to we now have queries to get all the details from the table what if if we want to like uh, get a particular all employees details who are, who belong to bangalore or who belong to anantapur district so for that we write a query in such a way that we just get only the details of anantapur guys so let's say that select star from employee where so this is the uh, command we used to specify the conditions over the data uh where state is equals to ap see here we got only ap guys 
if you say k karnataka it will get only karnataka price so this is how this where condition works and you can mention any number of uh, conditions in the where statement and the where clause let's say i want to get get the people who are from karnataka state and as well as from city called bangalore so for that we say and city is equals to bangalore see we got only one employee who is from bangalore and as well as uh, like the city um, who is from karnataka and as well as from bangalore bangalore city So this is with and operator and we have something called or operator let's say i want to get the details of uh, all the guys all the guys uh, from bangalore and as well as from anandapur so let's say bangalore city and as well as anandapur city so for that we can write the query like employee where city is equals to anantapur or state is equals to k so what it actually returns so it returns all the guys from anantapur or the guys from karnataka what it actually says the condition should uh, should satisfy any of these conditions whether the employee can be from a city anantapur or he can be from state karnataka so let's execute this see we have Bangalore city and Anandapur city and Tumkur city. I have just mentioned only city Anandapur. Whether city is Anandapur, that condition true. So pull out this record. And let's say city is uh, sorry, state is Karnataka. These two records are satisfied. This, this, and this. So that's where this whole thing satisfied. And got we got three uh, three records. And what else do we have? Where is done? Where is to mention the conditions? Where is to uh, define the conditions which the data should be like uh, the where we'll be getting the data from? And is done or is done? And we have not operator. Let's say uh, I don't want. Uh, the people from state Karnataka. So that's where like uh, we use just uh, not in front of this or uh, just like uh, to be in clear like uh, I want people from all the cities like uh, Karnataka, I mean cities like Bangalore, Tumkur and Anantapur, not from any of the any of other cities. So that's where we use this not command to get the people who are not from this this particular mentioned cities this one i'll discuss with within the combination of this in operator that you will be getting a proper idea of it so let's say auto buy now What is this actually? Auto buy is actually is so auto buy says like uh, uh, if you want our our uh, employees details in a particular order uh, on basis of employee ID or uh, on basis of employee name. Let's say if we if we consider employee ID, uh, let's say from one to hundred in a ascending order or in a descending order, uh, 
uh, let's say I want to order by salary, who's the host having high salary and who's having lowest salary in that way. So that's where this order by comes into picture. Let's say I mention uh, EMP ID, order by EMP ID. So we get all these details. And notice one thing that while we insert things, we mentioned 222 for three records. Let's change it. So this is where the order by is. So order by employee ID. That's where all my employees will be ordered on the basis of employee ID. Let's say I don't want employee ID basis. I want employee name basis. So see, we got on basis of employee name, Anil Chan, Kishore, and Biraj. I don't want in ascending order. I want in some other order. Let's say descending. This gives Raj first and MP and Kishore, Charan, Anil. We have two different uh, orders, ascending and descending. By default, ascending will be the uh, like chosen option for the SSMS. If you want to change it, you can change it this way. And you can mention like uh, multiple columns in the order by section. Let's say I want to order by city first in ascending order and then by salary in descending order. So let's execute this. See what we get, what we got here. See, it first uh, arranges all the records in the format of uh, city as ascending. So we have Anantapur Bangalore, A, B, H, K, T, and then salary, five, six. First, it should like, uh, it will like uh, follow this thing. I mean, this particular condition. After that, it will go for this particular condition. Let's say instead of city, we go for district. See these things. We have all these details. All the Anantapur uh, districts came first and then Bangalore and then Tungo. Just because I've given the condition ascending order. A, B, T. And notice the difference in Anantapur district. The employees are ordered in such a way that it follows the descending order of salary. So salary descending order 6, 490 and 4. So this is how order by column, order by works. And we have delete. So uh, let's say I don't want uh, uh, one of the employees details uh, in my database. So we just use the delete command uh, to just delete the employee from our database, delete. Um, Just a second, guys. Are you guys noting all these, uh, the ones I'm telling? A quick confirmation, please. Oh. You guys not noting? Well, I don't see any confirmations. Let's move on. No. Okay, no problem. I uh, will share one material. Oh, thanks, Vito. Anyways, we'll share the material uh, that can help you. So let's delete the employee. where the condition is let's say we delete the employee which are uh, which is like who's holding the id number three where uh, emp underscore id is equals to three let's execute this so one row affected says and let's see what we have the data
see here, we don't have three anymore, the third employee. So this is about the delete and we have update. So as a mistake, we entered all this employee details as two, two, two. Let's update that. Like if we want to like uh, change any data in the database tables, we use the update columns or update uh, command. Uh, it says, it goes like update table name, which is employees set. This is to assign the value set. EMP ID is equals to three. If I do this, what actually happens? So it goes into employee table and uh, sets employee ID as three for all the employees. To, to not to do that, I mentioned like my condition where uh, name is equals to MP. So this says like wherever the employee with the name MP update is uh, employee ID to three. It says name is invalid. Just be, that because we have EMP name in our database defined. It says one hour, one row affected. See here, MP is now with employee ID three. And I want to, uh, set employee id who's having 6000 salary so let's say i go with four and whose salary is equals to 6000 let's execute this so it says one row affected and let's see what's the data and now we have one two four three kishore with four id and he has 6000 salary so this is how update works and null value I told select top. So what if, if we want uh, only three or four records uh, which are in the top of the table to uh, to know our like uh, structure or could be like uh, only uh, a certain amount of columns. So for that we use select top command let's say top two rows from employee say it gives only top two records we can again order these things order by emp id the script uh, in a descending order see now we got four and three. It just uh, what it what it actually did previously. It was one and two. Now we got four and three. It just go to employee table and order the details as per my condition in order by employee ID with description. I mean descending order, and then top two values. So if I order my table data in descending order, uh, it just reverses the order of it. And then whoever uh, the employee details find, uh, finds in the top selection, that will be taken from it. And we have min, max, average, sum. So let's discuss this. So minimum, as it says, uh, the minimum value from the table columns. Maximum is to get the maximum value from the table columns. Average is to get all the average from respective table column, sum is also same. So let's say select minimum of salary. So I want to see uh, what is my employee's minimum salary from employee, execute this. So we have 4,000 as a minimum. So this is where this minimum of min keyboard or uh, min function will come into picture. See, if you could notice this, uh, I have one part, one row, which has no column name. So to mention these column names, we have something called aliases that we, dis uh, that we describe as, I mean, that we define it as, as with as keyword. 
as let's say select minimum of salary as minimum salary from employee what it did it did it just did uh did get the minimum salary and renamed that particular thing to minimum salary name what i'm what i'm given here a same way the maximum works select max of salary as max sell from employee we have maximum salary of 6000 rupees sorry 6000 dollars or so and we have average select average of salary as as average from employee this gives the average amount of the salary from all my like uh, employees so what actually we have so here the salary 5000 4000 and uh, 6000 and then for 4090 so it goes like uh, 19090 dollars that divided by the number of employees available in here that divided by 4 1990 by 4 which goes <laughs> See, it gives the same one Nineteen thousand ninety dollars. Pardon my mistake. Four seven seven two. So that's what it gives. Four seven seven two. As I mentioned, salary as a salary as money money data type. That's where this it takes it automatically takes the prison point to two decimal points. I hope you got that. And we have some, which actually sums up all the salaries. As sum of salary from employee. See, 1990, and we here we completed with sum and we have count to say this or try to find how many values present in the table or how many values present in the particular column for this for this we use select uh, count of employee emp id from employee this just gives the column as four so this is where I get the count. It actually counts the particular column that I specified. And we have like. So what if I have a requirement that says uh, employee details starting employee name starting with A. And I don't I don't care what, what uh, it is being followed by. So let's say Anil. Uh, Ashwin, whatever it is, it just start with A. For this, we use a uh, like operator. Select star from employee where. Till here, all it goes as same. Where name, like, so this name we have it as EMP underscore name in our table. Name like. And we should be uh, specifying all the strings in the single quotes and with a it should start and i don't i don't care what it is being followed by so i specify percentile symbol 
say we have only one guy with the name Anil. And if I insert some other guy, let's say his name is Ashwin with same details except the employee ID five. And let's see. Ashwin, he should come. See here. It started with A, both the names. We got it. So this is what the like operator comes into picture. Let's try if uh, not like will also work. Let's specify not operator, execute. See here, only the employee's names, which is not starting with A, came into our result set. So this is where not operator comes into picture. We just say that uh, apart from this particular condition, follow up on everything. So we completed not also and like also. So this in and between and aliases I have discussed, just uh, we may define it as uh, with a keyword called as with the readable names. So all we left are with these three now wildcards in and between so what is a wildcard wildcards are like uh, special characters uh, where we where we uh, with the sql management studio will return our uh, details uh, with a particular uh, uh, conditions followed uh, see here i have given a percentile it has given a uh, the name starting with a it doesn't care of like uh, what are the uh, what is the length of it so for that so this is one of the wild card which considers like zero to n numbers n number of characters and we have underscore which is like only one character let's say same anil command i want only name starting with a but uh, who has only three length name select execute huh employee name not like anil see we got all let's remove the not execute we did not get any of it just because it, it doesn't satisfy this condition a and then followed by two characters let's say we'll add another underscore and execute see here a and followed by three underscores that says total length of four that's where this anil comes into picture so this is about the underscore and we we have something called uh, with this uh, square braces what it actually says whatever we define in this particular square braces will take any of that particular uh, available uh, characters from that particular square brace. Let's say uh, I define A, B, C. It will take any one character. If it satisfies any one character in that particular uh, range, it just throws out the result. So let's take it. I have A, B, N, R, D, whatever it is, and followed by any number of characters. What this actually does, it checks for the name whose name is starting with A and followed by any of one character available in this particular set and followed by any number of characters. This is how it gets interpreted. So we got Anil here, just because it satisfied this particular N character in this set. And we have one more thing called hyphen. It gives like a range, range of values. So instead of, uh, I say A, B, and R, I just can, I can just say A to R whose name starts with A and second letter will be from A to R only and followed by any number of characters. This is also 
going to return same name. So here, A to R, in between only the N will come. Let's say I have removed it and I said just uh, A to Z. It doesn't return anything. So this is what about wildcards. So these are all the wildcards that are available. And we can say like uh, here, not like this also works. So any other cases that it takes. And what else do we have? Between. Between also uh, used for ranges. So let's say I want salary. Uh, I want employees details who has salary between like uh, 4,000 to 5,000. For that, I use select star from employee where salary between four thousand and five thousand. See you. Who are between four thousand and five thousand? I got all of them. Three records. Let's say I want from four thousand one to five thousand dollars and let's execute this see we have only two records for 4090 and five thousand and we can use this uh between operator uh, in numerical values and as well as with the date formats let's say between dates uh, here i can just mention uh, any of the date and the 90 slash 01 slash 01 and uh, uh, 1997.01.01. So this is not the salary, this is BOB. You don't have any just because it's taken as strings and all so that's all right what else do we have aliases we discussed in operator in so i want um uh, uh, what do we have in the table details let's check once See, uh, we have city called KLD, TMKR, in the Goran, the Bangalore. Let's take, uh, I want employees who are from KLD and TMKR. For this, I'll be, I can use in operator. Let's say select star from employee where city in, in followed by parenthesis it, it is the proper syntax to define in operator and in KLD, comma, TMKR. So this is how it takes to uh, get the employees who are from city called uh, KLD and uh, TMKR. See, after executing, <coughs> whosoever city is in uh, KLD and uh, Tunko, it will return all the details. So this is about in. We can say not operator. Uh, we can put not operator uh, like just before the in also. That's where this comes in. So it just takes whoever, whosoever the city is not in KLD and Tungo. So here it returns all three. And we have some operators uh, that can be defined uh, within where condition. Let's say sell that star from employee where salary greater than 4000 see these were the employees whose salary is for greater than 4000 uh, we have one more employee with id 2 whose salary is exactly 4000 see that did not come here if I say greater than or equal to, it gives all the salaries. And we have another condition. 
this is our rate color equal to and we have less than condition which works same let's say who's our salary less than five thousand we just have two four thousand and four thousand dollar four thousand ninety dollars and let's say less than or equal to this goes with uh, three and we for this we have an ill also let's say i want the employees with salary that is equals to five thousand this gives this and uh, what else do we have with this we have not equal to whose salary is not equal to five thousand see uh, we don't have employee one it's this same not equal to can also be written as where this particular literals this statement and this statements both are same we just write in these two different formats that is all the difference that we got here and uh, did we miss anything in today's agenda no we covered all of them and we should be discussing about alter command this will discuss tomorrow it's already 10 minutes past so till here any doubts or anything